We are doing the introduction to Hotel California, and let's get right to it. I'm going to be using these chords, E minor, B7, D sus2, A7 sus2. C, G, A minor 7, and then we will go back to B7. So that's the order of the chords. So the E minor, and then we do this those two leading notes into B7. And then it goes to D sus2. I'll talk about that in just a second. So this A7 sus2, I'm just putting one finger on the second fret D string. And then we go to C. And then we do this little run. And then to G, actually it's going to be playing that note, then that note, and then A minor 7. And then we're going to play an open E string and then a B7. Let's look at the right hand a little closer. E minor chord. I'm going to hold both of these notes down if I was playing the whole chord like that, but really I'm not even touching the A string. So I don't even have to put that finger down if I don't want to, but I'm going to leave it there because then I'm, when I go to the B7, it's going to be there already. So we go E string, D string, G string, B string, G string, E, and then we play the G string open, and I'm using my third finger, because then when I go into my B7, that's the picking pattern that I use. A string, D string, G, E string, back to G string, and then the open B. And then we go to the D sus2, Like that. Open D, second fret, third fret, open E, then he goes third fret to second fret on the B string, down to second fret on the G string, to the A7 sus2. Very interesting chord. I'm just using one finger right there on the D string second fret. So it goes right up, A string, D string, G string, B string, back to the G string, E string. Then the C chord. It's the same pattern as we did on the A7 sus2. Right? C chord. A string, D string, G string, B string, G string, E string. Then we play that third fret right there on the A string. Then we do a hammer on from open D to 2. So it goes like that. And then we do the G chord, but he's playing, I think, he starts with that D note. And then the second fret on the A string, and then the third fret on the E string. One more time. And then the A minor 7. Same pattern that I did on the A7 sus2 and the C chord. 
then we hit the low E string, and then the B7, same pattern. It's that pattern, that A string, D string, G string, B string, back to the G string, and then the E string. And then let's do it all over again. B7 chord, it breaks the pattern, right there. D sus2, probably you can do a hammer on or hitting it there. And then A7 sus2, C chord, same pattern. G chord, I'm playing the G string and then A string, E string, A minor 7, same pattern, open E, B7. And there you go, that's the whole intro. You know what, I like to play it a little bit differently. I played it like this before. So I use that same pattern that we did, E minor. And then I use the same pattern on the B7. Instead of going, I don't really care which one you use. D, instead of the D sus2, instead of doing that, I used to do this. Like that. And what that is, that's a, it's the same D sus2. And then I go back to that third fret and then I do a hammer on to the open to the second fret, back to the third fret on the B string and then the A7 sus2. C chord, same way. And then the G chord I would always use Just like that. I like that better than what they do. So it's the E string, D string, G string, B string, back to the G string, and then you hit this high E and the second fret on the A, and then that, and then the A minor seven. And then I just went to B7, I didn't worry about that low E. So I would just do this, A minor 7, and then B7. If we did it the other way with that open E, it would sound like this. Either way, it sounds good. Then you can just play it. D chord. A chord. C chord, G chord, A minor 7 or A minor, B7, and there you go. On the dark desert highway, Don Henley sings it way up here. On the dark desert highway. I don't like to sing it up there. I like the third fret, it doesn't stretch my voice quite so much. On a dark desert highway, cooling in my head. Right? See, if I took the capo off, it'd be even lower. On a dark desert highway. That's comfortable, huh? All right, thanks for being here. Hey, you know what? I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. I'm blown away. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you for being here. I've got a Patreon page. You can get my Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book and the tabs for this uh, over in that book. And you can get it at Patreon or you can uh, PayPal me. There's a link below in the description. Thanks. Make a comment. We'll talk to you later. Bye.